The second is now called to order. Ms. Secretary, would you call the roll, please? Mrs. Thomas? Mrs. Thomas? Mr. Guidry? Here. Mr. Gordon? Here. Mr. Snyder? Here. Mr. Fendel? Here. Mr. Brookter? Here. Mr. Ballantyne? Here. Mr. Chairman, we have a quorum. Okay, thank you. Has everyone got a copy of the uh, minutes from the June 4th meeting? Yes, sir. Can I get a uh, motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from our last month's meeting. Okay, second. Would everyone please vote with your lights? Motion passed. All right, thank you. Our first case today is BOA case number 2019-1470. BOA postponed from our June 4th, uh, 2019 meeting. The request by applicant in an A4 single family residential zoning district to reduce the required rear yard setback from 20 feet to five feet to allow for the placement of a manufactured home on the property. The property is located at 62171 North 15th Street, Slidell, Louisiana. The applicant is Li Ms. Lily Williams. The applicant is requesting to reduce the required yard setback from 20 feet to five feet for the, to allow for the placement of a manufactured home on the property. Staff comments, please. The applicant is seeking a reduction of the rear yard setback to allow for the placement of a 880 square foot manufactured home on the property. Although the applicant was unaware of the setback requirements before applying for the permit and purchasing the manufactured home, staff does not see any reason to be in favor of the requested variances since the property does not have any unique physical char characteristics or conditions making it impossible to meet the setback requirements. Is the applicant present? Would you please come forward and state your name and the records for the... Lily. Lily Williams. And your address, Ms. Williams? Uh, 716 South Myrtle Street, Amy, Louisiana. Okay. Ms. Williams, do you have anything further to add? I was just asking for mercy from you all to, for the setback, if at all possible. We, um, we don't have a whole lot, but we, I'm trying to get a... Uh, my family situated so they would have a roof over their head and somewhere to to live. And we were, like I said, we wasn't aware of the uh, requirements before I purchased this land. Okay. Uh, so we got any questions. Ms. Williams, let me ask you, how, which size is the trailer to length and width? 14 by 70. Okay. Do we have any questions of Ms. Williams? Mr. Ballantyne? Um, is there any homeowners association or any neighbors um, around there that object to this? No, sir, not at all. Mr. Brookton? Ms. William, do you know the size of the property? I would have to look on my paperwork. I don't have there should be a survey. Yeah, there's a survey attached. It's look like it's 50 feet by 100 feet. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Brooklyn? No, uh, that's it. Does anyone else have any? Um, Mr. Gordon. Uh, yes, ma'am. When did you buy this this uh, mobile home? Uh, uh, approximately three months ago. <laughs> and after you purchased it, you came, you bought the property and no one, you didn't get a survey, you didn't get anything when you bought the property that told you what setbacks were? No, sir, I didn't. Did you buy, who'd you buy through a realtor or just a sign stuck on a tree or? Yes, sir, up a sign. There was a sign on a tree? Yes, sir. And you went to a closing? Yes, sir. And they didn't give you a this document that shows a survey of your property? We had the what? Oh, yeah. 
We got the survey done ourselves. After mm -hmm. after you purchased the property? That was been how long ago? About a, a month, about a month and a half. Maybe two months ago. So you bought it. You you got that after you purchased the property? Uh, yes, sir. Anything else, Craig? Miss Williams, I got a question. Uh, I see there was a con was a concrete slab already there when you purchased this property. Yes, sir. Was there so there was were there a trailer before you purchased the property? I actually I don't recall. I, I can't. I don't, I'm not aware of that. But you didn't put that slab in. That concrete slab has been there when you purchased the property. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Ballantyne. We have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? We have a motion to approve and a second. Uh, Mr. Gordon. What? You have, yeah, what staff, the, the rear setback is 20 feet? Is, wait, is? 20% of the lot depth. 20% of the lot depth. Isn't it 100 feet? Plus 20 feet. And 25 in the front. Mm -hmm. That's 45 feet. 100 foot lock, that leaves you 55 feet. And yeah, but... It's 50 feet of width. No, no, it's 50 by 70, he's saying. I'm talking the lot. It's the set, the Say setbacks, you've Take got... The setbacks away from the total of the lot. The lot's 100. Take away 25, take away another 20. Down to 55 feet left. Yeah, she her her mobile home is seventy foot long. I realize that. They don't make a forty five foot motor home. Miss Williams, was there's a shed on this survey that was there also? All this was already on the property. Someone must have already been living on this property. A mobile home? A mobile home. There was a mobile home there when you bought it, or it no, was, had been taken out. It must was have already been taken it out. was already there. It wasn't there. It was. It had been there before, and it was taken out when you when you purchased the property. Probably. Yes, so that's sir. why the slab was there, and that's where the mobile home was sitting. I, I guess so. I, I don't know. know. I mean, this is your property. That's why we have to ask these questions. Yes, I, sir. I, I, you know, we can't. I have Ask, no idea yes, what sir, took place. We have a motion in a second to approve. Uh, we we in the open discussions or questions at this point, but we do have a motion on the floor. Yes, sir. Do we have any other questions of anyone? Greg? Any any other questions of the applicant? No, none of the applicants. Do we uh, any questions or concerns of anybody on the board before we call for vote? I see some discussion. I just want to make sure before I call for the vote to make sure there's no other yeah, issues. Do you have any other issues? Any? Okay, so we have a motion on the floor. There's no more discussion, no more questions. Ms. Secretary, would you please call, um, would everyone please vote with the lights? Motion passed. Thank you so kindly. You're welcome. Y'all have a blessed day. Our next case is BOA case number 2019-1502 BOA, request by applicant in an A4 single family residential zoning district to reduce, to reduce the required rear yard setback from 10 feet to 9 feet to allow for the placement of a manufactured home on the property. The property is located at 4680 Oak Street, Slido, Louisiana. The applicant is Melvin Alonzo. The applicant is requesting to reduce the required rear yard setback from 10 feet to 9 feet to allow for the placement of a manufactured home on the property. Staff comments, please. Mr. Chairman, um, I, I just found out that the petitioner is on his way. Okay. Um, he's, he's requesting to hold on okay. a few minutes. Uh, the board, has everyone heard that on the board? No, I didn't. The, the petitioner is, he has called in. He's running a little bit late. He would like for us to hold off a little bit till he gets here. He's on his way here. We need uh, to make a motion that we can hold off until the petitioner, give him some time, some time allotted. 
I make a motion to hold off till it gets here. Okay, we have a motion to hold off till it gets here. I tried to talk, but I didn't get it. Didn't get it. I'm sorry, Craig, Mr. Gordon. No, that's all right. We can have Mr. Ballantyne. We can, you know, it's all right. I know he likes to make motions like that. It's okay. Well, he's got a motion. We need a second on that. Well, I'm he... not seconding that puppet. Ain't no way in hell. <laughs> Okay, we do have a motion to postpone this to the applicant is present. We have a, a motion, but not a second. Do we have a second on that no, motion? No second. I got my own motion I want to make. Uh, hearing uh, going once, going twice, hearing no second. Mr. Gordon, you had the floor? Yeah, I, you know, you should be here on time. So based on that, I make a motion to approve this thing just like it sits. A second motion. He'll be quite surprised when he gets here. Okay, we got have a, <laughs> this may be a first. <laughs> That's why we're here, baby. Should I, should I at least read the staff report? Yes. Uh, we, just, we it, just granted 15 feet. I think we can handle one foot because of well, what's well, happening in this particular situation. Okay, well, just to keep the record straight, the staff comments has not made that comment, so. Uh, well, you're the one that opened up for motions. It wasn't me. I know we was looking at a motion to uh, hold off on proceeding with the case. Well, it, okay. motion was out of order. You should have. It, that yeah. motion should have been out of order. Thank you. Okay. So since we don't have a motion to postpone, Ms. Secretary, would you read the staff comments, please? The applicant is seeking a reduction of the rear yard setback to allow for the placement of, oops, I have the wrong case, actually. The applicant is seeking a reduction of the rear yard setback to allow for the placement of a 1,280 square foot manufactured home on the property. Although the applicant was unaware of the setback requirements before purchasing the manufactured home, staff doesn't have any reason to be in favor of the requested variance since the property doesn't have any unique physical characteristics or conditions making it impossible to meet the setback requirements. Okay. As you can see, the applicant is not present. I don't think there's any illegal. Is there any requirement that the applicant be present? So if there's not, I can end. go. Mr. Gordon, you have the floor. All right, well, and I'm going to give the reason I'm making the motion. Um, if the man could simply change his address, this property would be fine. He'd be able to do whatever he wants. The address is, it would be on Ash. He'd meet all of his setbacks. But because it's on Oak, he doesn't meet the setbacks, and he can't change the address. So because of that, I make a motion to approve the variance as requested. Mr. Lons, he, he says he's all right with that, so we're going to do it. Okay, we, we have a motion and a second to approve. Uh, do we have any discussion? Hearing none, would everyone please vote with your lights? Motion carries. All right, let's leave before it gets here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that takes care <laughs> of the... Uh, of the agenda items, old business. I think Tom said he had something old I got, business. I got some old business. And Reagan's not here. Excuse uh, me. It's come to my attention that um, we have allowed um, some commercial entities to build across their property line, which sets a terrible precedent. I will. Um, call your attention to the sky bridge that we approved. The applicant owned both properties and had the building on either side and built the sky bridge across. And so it was brought to my attention that um, we should be cautious uh, of doing things like that because if he would sell um, one of the properties or something, then we'd have a violation of the setback. And so if he would oh, sell, oh. if he would sell, his building would be attached to the other building. Yeah, yeah, it would be a, one building. Right now, it's one. Once you so attach a breezeway, it's one building. Yeah. Hey, I'm just saying. Yeah. It's brought to my attention. Just be conscious of it. Were you present because on that particular meeting? I was. In fact, I'm, I'm probably the guilty party for getting the motion. <laughs> it, it was because of financing that he couldn't yeah. put it together into yeah. one. 
everything everything we do sets a precedent. And yet we do not recognize the precedent. No, it's every every case According is to our bylaws. specific. Yeah, each case stands on its own. So now there's a single building on two lots that, that the same person owns both lots. He's going to have problems selling one of those lots. I have fulfilled my obligation. Okay. Is there anything else? Old business? Uh, we'll get that. Uh, new business, Helen, do we have any cases? Three cases for next month. Anything else on new business? Does anybody else, else have anything on new business? Can we move to adjourn? I would like to just say between now and then, since Ms. Thomas is fixing to have surgery and Ron is fixing to have surgery at the end of the month, we keep them both in our prayers. Very good. So noted. Who else? Ryan Keller. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but Greg was saying that earlier. Yeah, he's having, he's having some issues. He has a little blockage, and they, it's in a bad area, so they can end up doing the same thing they did to me. Okay, so I, I move to adjourn the meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.